Welcome to How to Multibox. This tutorial is designed to get your very first multibox characters prepared for World of Warcraft. This guide assumes that you've already gotten a few things running. For instance, you've already installed WoW and you have set up the multiplexer of your choice. If you don't know what a multiplexer is, feel free to take a look at some of the other guides available in the video description or at the end of this tutorial. If you're having problems installing World of Warcraft, well, we might suggest that multiboxing is not the right hobby for you just yet. This is VBoxing A, our female orc warlock. Don't look, it's hideous. VBoxing A will be our tutorial guide for today, along with her buddies VBoxing B, C, D, and E. If you're curious as to why multiboxers often name their characters similarly and choose identical appearances, you'll find that it comes in very handy during PvP to disrupt the opponent's coordination. Here we have our five orc warlocks, V boxing A, B, C, D, and E. As you can see, they can jump in unison thanks to our multiplexer, and they can also do various other synchronized things. So let's get started with some movement. Let's say I want to walk over to that hill over there. Well, that's cool. I'll just press my forward button. Well, what do I do to turn around? I guess I'll have to keyboard turn. Wait a second. As you can see, the server lag between me pressing the keys on my keyboard and the warlocks moving is slightly different. We're going to need an alternate mode of transportation. Let's make our first slash follow macro. The in-game macro interface can be found by typing slash macro or by going to the main menu and clicking the macro button. Here you see a very simple macro which just contains slash follow vboxing A. We've already dragged it onto our action bar next to the food and water buttons. Next, we're going to bind that button to a button on our keyboard by going to the menu and clicking key bindings. I like binding my follow button to the key G. Let's try it out. Perfect. Notice that my following warlocks, Vindries B, C, D, and E, are not walking on their own. This is because I have unbound the WASD movement keys in my key bindings. Remember, to get there, just go to your menu and click the key binding button. Vindri A is demonstrating how to do this, but she's going to keep her WASD keys because she's not following anyone. You can continue to use your arrow keys for movement, when your main gets stunned or CC'd. It's time to lay down the law, lawgivers. There's a tasty looking pig. But wait, why aren't the other Vindries casting? It's time to build your first slash assist macro. Once again, open up your macro interface by typing slash macro or by going to the main menu and clicking the macro button. This macro is also very simple. All it requires is slash assist vboxing A. 
We're going to drag this next to the follow macro we created earlier and bind it to the key T. Let's try this again. We've targeted our pig and then we press our assist key. As you can see, everyone's now casting Shadow Bolt at the correct target. Wait a second, what was that crazy move? This is what we call a spread out macro, though it really isn't a macro. It's actually a series of key binds. Several spread out formations can be achieved by binding different movement keys to the same keyboard key. Its primary purpose is to help mitigate damage when faced with an AoE attack. Let's go back to our key binding menu to see how it's done. As you recall, our WASD movement keys are unbound on our following warlocks. Each warlock is given a unique movement key for the same button. We chose F. One is assigned to strafe right, one to strafe left, and the others to go forwards and backwards. And there you have it, your spread out key. Tabu! Of course, there are many ways to multibox, and many ways to form assist, follow, and spread out keys. But this should get you started. As always, if you need help, check out the guides linked in the video description or visit the dualboxing.com forums.